The DAP1525, also known as the Amplify Wi-Fi Booster, is used to replace and upgrade your existing wireless signal. The Smart Beam technology works by finding and tracking your wireless devices, and then focuses beams to those devices, ensuring a seamless connection anywhere in your home. It's able to deliver HD video streams and online gaming applications to all your connected devices all at once without any annoying lags or glitches. Just plug in the Wi-Fi booster to your router and SmartBeam will take care of the rest. So let me show you how it works. For starters, the Amplify Wi-Fi booster has two modes, AP mode in 2.4 GHz, AP mode in 5 GHz, and bridge mode. You'll want to use AP mode if you want to connect your wireless devices, such as laptops, tablets, smartphones, and media players, to your wired network if you don't already have wireless. Or you can choose to use AP mode to upgrade your existing wireless network to the latest wireless technology to boost performance and coverage. You can even connect it to a switch or power line device. Or you can choose to use it in bridge mode if you're looking to connect your wired Ethernet devices like desktop computers, game consoles, NAS devices like D-Link Share Center NAS devices and media players to your existing wireless network. The DAP1525 can connect up to four wired devices to your wireless network so it's perfect for your entertainment center. But just remember that when you're in bridge mode, you can't connect wireless devices to the DAP1525. With the DAP1525 powered off, start by sliding the switch on the back of the device to AP 2.4 GHz. Or if you know your devices work on the 5 GHz band, slide the switch to AP 5 GHz. Otherwise, stick with 2.4. Now plug in the power adapter to the back of the Wi-Fi booster and into a wall outlet. And then press a power button on the front of the device to turn it on. Next, press the WPS button on your existing wireless router, and then press and hold the WPS button on the DAP1525 for about 5 seconds. You'll see the WPS button LED on the front blinking, letting you know that it's working. And that's it. Once connected, you can choose to disable your wireless on your old router to avoid interference, but otherwise you're good to go. Now with the DAP1525 off, slide the switch on the back to bridge, plug it in, and press the power button on the front if it's not already on. Press the WPS button on your existing wireless router, and then press and hold the WPS button on the DAP1525 just for a few seconds. You'll see the WPS LED light blinking, letting you know that it's connecting. And it's as simple as that. You can now connect up to four wired devices to the DAP1525, connecting all of them to your existing wireless network. D-Link has tons of routers with WPS, making it easy to connect and configure all your devices. Otherwise, here's how to set up the DAP1525 manually. Start with the powered off and slide the switch to the mode you want. Then connect the power and turn it on. Next, connect the DAP1525 to your computer with an Ethernet cable. Now, open up your web browser and type in 192.168.0.50 or http colon forward slash forward slash dlinkap in the address bar. Enter the username admin and leave the password blank as a default. Log in and click Launch Wireless Setup Wizard, and then follow the prompts to quickly and easily configure your DAP1525 in AP or Bridge mode. With the DAP1525, you can boost your network one of two ways. In Access Point mode, you can add or upgrade your existing wireless network to the latest technology for better performance and coverage. Or you can choose to use Bridge mode to add those wired devices in your entertainment center to your wireless network. And if you can't choose, pick up two. Thanks for watching.